church in Wareham caught fire over the weekend, and it was bad news for one of the firefighters called to the scene as he and his bride to be were supposed to have their wedding there later that weekend. Michaela McDonald's in the control room with the story new this morning. Services had to be moved from that church after this fire, including a firefighter's wedding, which was just a few hours away at the time. Early Saturday morning, a three alarm fire tore through the historic St. Patrick's Church in Wareham. When the first company arrived, he had smoke uh, coming from the roof of the building. There's no sprinkler system in it, wood frame, big building, old building. The 70 year old church sustained half a million dollars in damage. The call hit close to home for one of the firefighters responding to the blaze. Conrad Fernandes was set to get married in this church just a few hours later. My guys were being called out. I literally, I was on the phone with Delisa and my phone started going off because I have a, I am responding to my phone. I just figured it was just like a false alarm and then they got there and they said there was an active fire and we just all started screaming. With the help of their wedding party and family, the couple was able to move the ceremony to another church in Dartmouth. Maybe 10 years, maybe even tomorrow I'll laugh about it, but I, I'm, still in, I'm still in shock. First thing he said to me was, it doesn't matter, we're getting married tomorrow. We'll find anywhere, it doesn't matter where. You'll be Mrs. Fernandes tomorrow. The newlywed couple says the ceremony still ended up being beautiful. Michaela McDonald, Eyewitness News.